What's up lads? Chris Brown XI in the house, and today I've got a very special video for all you new wannabes. I'm going to teach you how to use the ultimate WWE sex offender. Brian Fury. I decided to make this video as I discovered that Brian is a very unique character, and because of this I like him. I find it amazing how only two buttons can be pressed in order for one to become good with a character. The main man said Brian is extremely difficult, however he's only making it difficult for himself because he's not using Snake Edge enough. Eventually, I utilized the character effectively and became the strongest Brian player known to mankind. Trust me, I taught me everything he knows. It's perfect. It's a perfect attempt at a joke from you. If I can mold a professional Tekken player like him, I can definitely make you a pro. Right, let's get into this. Brian undeniably is one of the strongest characters in the game, but his combo potential is even stronger. Although he requires strict execution, once you've got these down, you'll be unstoppable. He is an extremely dangerous character on all levels, even his appearance looks extremely threatening. Which aesthetically makes Brian very exceptional. Jin looks like a typical anime main character, Lucky Chloe looks like a K-pop idol, Claudio looks like an exorcist. Brian on the other hand looks like a rapist, so lighten the mood with a light-hearted customization. Something that Brian players can't resist doing is taunting. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is the input. After winning a match, press these in order to remind your opponent they will never be a match to you. However, Brian is the only character who can taunt in game and seem cool, as his taunt has great uses. Brian's taunt, if cancelled as soon as the knee hits, will leave you at a massive frame advantage, giving you an opportunity to get guaranteed fast unblockable moves. That's right, 1 4, 2 3, down forward 2 1, and forward 2 1 4 are all guaranteed after the taunt. Showing the taunt is very useful for quickly closing off rounds, or to make your movement seem godlike. One thing that many people say is to always practice taunt jet upper, as this move will make you an unstoppable Brian player. However, you don't need this. Taunt jet upper is useless, don't bother wasting your time on such a difficult yet useless move. People think that, just because it's an unblockable 14 frame launcher it's good, guess what, it's not. Firstly, it's not even 14 frames, the taunt makes it come out slower, so it's actually a much slower startup. You know what else has a startup similar to this? Snake Edge. Both Snake Edge and Taunt Jet Upper have a slow startup, and do 20 damage. Is Snake Edge difficult to execute? Absolutely not. Snake Edge only requires two buttons, whereas Taunt Jet Upper needs you to have Jesus level execution. So next time you see a Brian player do Taunt Jet Upper, just remember how long they spent in front of a screen practicing that move, compared to how long it took you to press two buttons. Trust me when I say this, you're better off with Snake Edge. There is only one reason that Brian is SS tier. It's because he has amazing moves on his move list, a very very scary low, a brutal power crush, aggravating jabs, perhaps the most savage, while rising launcher in the game, a great 14 frame launcher, and much much more. All these are guaranteed to get you to at least vanquisher in under 100 games. But these aren't his true moves. His true moves are the following. 
Orbital Heal, quite possibly the best up forward 4 option out of all the characters in the game, and has excellent low crushing properties. Amazing for destroying people that like abusing lows. Next we have Brian's down forward 1 string. The 1 string every Brian player uses at least 3 times per round. Always delay each hit, then try to hit confirm the last hit for good damage, useful for conditioning your opponent to stop trying to sidestep as it tracks to his left. Finally, we have the greatest low in the game, voted 10 out of 10 by IGN. Snake Edge. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it. Brian has great setups and mix-up potential. Often your setups are going to rely heavily on having launchers. Here are some good starter setups. 1, 1, 1, 1 into back 4. After thinking you're only going to hit with highs you'll crush all their hopes of winning the match by hitting them with back 4, which is plus 15 on hit, giving you a free jet up a wall combo. Combo into back 3 cancel into snake edge. It always works. No doubt about it. Secondly, every time your opponent blocks a high or mid attack, follow up with soccer kick. Not only does this low do great damage, but it's plus 5 on hit. It is a great low, so always do at least 5 soccer kicks. When you do soccer kick always delay the sway back motion, so you're letting your opponent know you're doing a low. Once you carve this into the enemy's brain, start doing quarter circle back 4 instead of quarter circle back 3. Brian players like doing this, soccer kick into side step into mix up. This can either lead to your opponent repetitively getting their ankles broken, or getting completely bamboozled by a mid mix up. The whole point of playing Brian is to completely destroy your opponent's angles. So the answer to this is to abuse Snake Edge, as if it was a poke. However if your opponent decides to start ducking your Snake Edge, the simple answer is to duck into Orbital. The perfect setup. Making Brian the perfect 50-50 character. After playing a set with a skilled Brian player, you're going to end up looking like this. Your Brian should look a little like this. Another. You can't escape! You can't escape!